everyone, how are you doing today? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I want to talk to you today what I think is probably the most ex exciting story happening right now for those of us interested in this, these sort of topics. It has to do with the cold fusion and low energy nuclear reaction, also known as Lenner energy production systems, which when we're filming this here just at the beginning of 2015, have really made a lot of progress. If you haven't seen my previous video about cold fusion and hearing the people from the Italian lab ENEA, you can just watch it right here. But just to sum it up, you know, we learned earlier in 2014 from Dr. Vittorio Violante that they had succeeded in making cold fusion energy work and it took a while, but they got it to work by putting impurities in the palladium doping the palladium as it's called and actually creating a bumpier surface because cold fusion is not a chemical reaction it's some other sort of nuclear reaction or other process which we're still learning to understand but what we learned from Dr. Violante is that it works through resonance the palladium and the deuterium um, elements have to interact through a type of vibration through a type of resonance well a really exciting thing happened a couple of months ago is that Bill Gates, the founder of Microsoft and at this point the wealthiest man in the world, visited Dr. Violante at ENEA in Italy or a facility that they had procured for the meeting and we found out that Bill Gates is a fan of cold fusion and Leonard, low energy nuclear reaction. There have been a lot of breakthroughs in Leonard just a few months ago from the team working with uh, Ernesto Rossi on the so-called ECAT, the Energy Catalyzer. And there was a third party report, um, even though it was controversial, but the six PhDs who examined the device said that over a 30 day period it had produced a lot of excess heat, about 1.5 megawatts of energy beyond what had been put in to get it going in a one month period. That's enough to heat uh, a whole bunch of homes over a one month and the cost is really low. So there's a lot of excitement building in this area and I think for those of us who are interested in a lot of the topics that we talk about here on my YouTube channel and on my blog, New Crystal Mind, we found out that the Lenner reaction also works by having the nickel and the hydrogen interact through resonance. Rossi called it on the nickel powder. It's not just any nickel powder you put in this little reactor that some people call the dog bone because it's a small thing that looks like a dog bone. It actually has to have what Rossi calls tubercules or little bumps on the surface of the nickel. Why? Because that sort of shape creates a particular sort of energy resonance which produces a reaction at a very subatomic level apparently. This is the exciting thing, we're not exactly sure what produces the energy. Some people think it's a type of neutron tunneling, uh, not the type of electron tunneling we're used to from superconductivity, but another type of tunneling process where the neutrons merge in a way that creates excess heat. Whatever the reaction is, whether it's a nuclear reaction or not, this is very exciting. The implications for all of us here is that cold fusion and Lenner and all the other associated technologies could create an abundance of low power non-polluting energy that has no chemical uh, waste products, no radioactive side effects or anything like that at a cost perhaps one tenth of what we're paying for energy right now which would provide lots of abundant energy to third world countries who need it so they could stop cutting down their forests for fuel, uh, using coal like China does, polluting dirty sources of energy and replace it with clean, uh, abundant sources of energy. And this is perhaps why Bill Gates would be interested in developing this. So I think this has profound implications for all of this. You might have noticed that the price of oil has been dropping a whole bunch in the latter part of 2014 into 2015. Is it because of the news of the success of these cold fusion liner projects or is it just happening because of its own reasons or a combination thereof? We don't know at this point, but we can see that things are really changing and this could lead to an entirely new technological paradigm for all of us away from polluting expensive sources of energy under centralized control 
to cheaper, non-polluting, decentralized energy sources that would be in each neighborhood or each home or each apartment complex or something like that. So I think these are very exciting developments and I think something you should be watching in the future because it really impacts all of us in a huge way. Well, that's all I wanted to say for you now. Keep your eyes on the resonance and we'll be following this topic and we'll talk to you soon. Take care for now and bye.